interrupt your regular broadcast to bring you this important news bulletin. Okay, so a lot of you guys have asked how I modded my truck for the rear dually lock. Most people, when they have their truck, they just take tires, add them on, look like that. Which is how I did my truck for quite a while. But I did some work, and after seeing what Mr. Range Rover 1996 did with his truck, I decided to take a shot at it myself. And now my rear tires have been brought in from a cut modded axle to give it a more scale look. I don't have any spares, so I'll take it apart and I'll show you guys what I have done. I've got the rear modded axle taken off and I have it placed against the front with the dually tires on it. I took two spare tires and put them against the front just so you can get an idea of the difference there is with the mod that I've done versus what is normally done when people just add the rear tires to have the dually look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take apart this rear axle and I'll give you guys an idea. I'll show you guys the steps I've done. There's, there's a better difference just with two tires on it against a stock setup. It's quite a bit of difference. It's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And more along the lines of an inch and a quarter shortened. It's been cut pretty good. So once you got your rear axle taken off, Take it all fully apart. Take everything out from the inside. I've already done this, so I've left it in because I'm just showing you guys what I've done. So I've taken, focus. I've cut it down right there to where the screws go in. I've shortened it that much off the stock. Both sides. Doesn't want to focus. It's not the cleanest looking job, but it's pretty good. Now there's a few ways you can do the next part. You can take the stock drive shafts and shave them and cut them in half or however much off you want. Then you can weld them together, braise them together, put a sleeve over them. There's a few other things that you can do. What I actually did was, I took axles from a low C 1 18th scale mini rock crawler. I wasn't sure if they would work, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. So after I've got it all shaved down, I'm gonna make sure the bearing is just inside that lip right there. It's also a bearing for the Losi 118th scale mini rock crawler. You do get a bit of play, but it does grab. And I took the next one. After trimming it all and making sure it was the right length. Make sure that one's in there as well. You just click on both ends. You get a little bit of play, but they do grab. Make sure the bearings are in again. Take the other half of your out your your diff cover. Place it on. That's how much they, oops, sorry. That's how much they stick out. And then we'll just screw this back together. Then, you take these, that slide right onto here. Shave them down as well. Oops, sorry. 
about that far. That way they slide right over. Focus. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what the heck? How does this work? Probably many other things. Like I said, I've got no spare axles, so I'm doing it to one that I've already modified. Same with the other side. But I was willing to do this because I like a dually look. There you go. It's back together almost, pretty much. You guys have seen my latest video pretty much that shows it working with this mod done. So next, these pins are not the stock pins from the SCX-10. They are pins for the Losi 118th scale mini rock crawler axle drive shafts. The stock ones from the SCX-10 would not fit. Same with the hexes. I used the 118th scale ones. You could use the other ones, you just gotta make the hole for the pin a bit bigger. There's that side. <coughs> Put the other one in. The other hex on. If it goes in there. There we go. Both done. And it turns, it grips, it grabs. You get a little play going from forward to reverse for just a little bit. Nothing to be concerned or worried about. If you want to modify your dually for more scale look, I suggest doing this. I haven't seen any videos done. There's one build thread that I've seen, but no videos. It's a big difference. Okay, now I've got the rear modded axle put back on the truck. Yes, my suspension is set up like this. I like droop, but you may have to change your suspension setup slightly for this mod because of how much you actually shorten the rear axle. So what comes next is, let's get these tires put on. Let's see how it looks. I use these couplers. Or a hex coupler threaded through. I use these for my extensions for a dually look to give it that much more of a scale look in my opinion. I use blue Loctite to put them on. That way I don't have to worry about them coming loose.
I use what is that I use three on each side. That gives me the proper length that I need. Then I use some grub screws, set screws, whatever you want to call them. I thread them through each one, do Loctite on each, that way they stay together. That is how close my tires sit now. That's how much they've been moved in. Mine already mounted, blue Loctite all throughout, so I'm not taking them apart, but it gives you an idea. Use three of these for each side. Front, stock, new rear, modded dually setup, more scale lock. The front, from here to here, measures nine inches. The back, from here to here, now measures 10.25 inches. It's a lot better look, performs great, I have no issues whatsoever. And there it is. Easier way, not really easy, it is easy to do, it takes a little bit of time, but if you want a real good scale, dually look, instead of just slapping another tire on like this, and have them stick out that much farther, I suggest you do this mod, give it a shot. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to know, please leave a comment below in the video. Thanks.